Need camera access from your Flutter app? Try taking the camera plugin for a spin. To start, you can get a list of the device's available camera descriptions by calling the available cameras function. Running the app in a web browser on your laptop, you might just have one camera description, your webcam. But if the app is running on iOS or Android, you probably have at least two camera descriptions on the list. Next, instantiate a camera controller with the desired camera description and preferred resolution preset. Camera controller has parameters to configure the camera output, such as enabling audio on videos and image format. Now, before you can use the controller, make sure to call initialize. If you want your users to see what the camera sees, you can get a live preview of the camera feed by passing the camera controller to the camera preview widget. Then, to take a picture, call the take picture method. It will return an X file object, which you can read into memory or save to a file. A similar process applies for recording video. Call the start video recording method. And when you're done, recording the next viral video, call stop video recording. You'll once again get back an X file object that you can process however you want. Done using the camera? Remember to call dispose. Talk about a disposable camera. There's also a number of camera settings that you can adjust on the fly, like flash, zoom, exposure, focus, and capture orientation. Don't you just love a Picture Perfect plugin? For more info on camera and all the other packages, head to pub.dev.